are new here tonight. Go ahead and press one in the chat if you're new here tonight. All right, well, for those of you that are new here tonight, we're going to be doing a little segment that we like to call... And the way that works is that we're going to be taking calls from the number in the bottom right corner of the screen. That number is 845-576-5645. Or you can do exclamation mark number in the chat, and there are international numbers that you can use to call in from the UK or from Canada. When I call out... When I answer the phone, I'll call out your area code or country code, and I'll say, go ahead, call her. And that's when you get about 20 to 30 seconds to say whatever is on your mind. Now, I know the Super Bowl is going on, but frankly, I don't, I don't watch the sports ball. Okay? So I thought we'd talk about something a little bit kind of related. I managed to get my hands on a Super Bowl commercial, a leaked Super Bowl commercial, and I thought I'd share it with you. So, yeah, I think my question is pretty simple. Have Super Bowl ads gone too far? Or maybe you want to talk about the genocide in Darfur. Um, I don't know, but what I do know is I don't answer questions. So just if you're going to call up, have something to say. I don't answer questions. I'm also going to post a link to that ad in the chat for you so that you can go uh, tell tell those, those Home Depoters what you think about it. Uh, 347, go ahead. You're... Okay, so I'm going to have to ask you to turn down your television set before you call in. Uh, the 404, go ahead. Yo, did you just see that play, man? Like, oh my god. What? Tom Brady just ran a Hail Mary down the 20-yard line. Holy shit. I don't even think that's what a Hail Mary is. The oh my god, he just scored about? a three-pointer from the end zone. Oh my god. The fu- what? Home run! Home run! Yeah! Clearly you guys don't know anything about football yourselves! I uh, I uh, four oh four. Go ahead. Alex, Alex, Alex. Man, you just missed a badass commercial. Uh, were you watching? No, clearly I'm not watching the fucking Super Bowl, and I don't answer fucking questions. So what the fuck do you fucking want? Well, it was, <clears throat> it was a commercial for Mrs. Butterworth. She came out as transgender, so I guess now she's. Mr. Butter's butt. Okay, well, yeah, then... Uh, the, me, uh, uh, 
Four seven eight, go ahead. Hello. Yeah, hi. Listen, what do you fucking want, Alica? Uh, well, bitch, you need to be watching the Super Bowl right now, okay? Mariah Carey just sang the national anthem and then she herself. Oh, God damn it, can y'all not call up just a shit in my fucking ear? God damn it. Uh, country code 44, go ahead. Here. Hello? Yeah, I don't, I, I think we might be having some phone issues tonight. If you're stuck on hold, hang up and call back. Uh, 404, go ahead. Yes, yeah, so um, I don't know if you saw, but I saw a blue check verified dumbass on Twitter going after Tom Brady because when he was walking into the, you know, get ready to play the game, he wasn't wearing a mask. And she was like, oh, he should use his platform to be wearing a mask. And I just thought... You know, I wish I had been there when he was walking up because I would have done something to make him wear a mask. Can you stop shitting in my fucking ear? I, I, look, I saw, I saw Miley Cyrus was having some fucking concert before the Super Bowl. And like, how are they having a fucking concert? Is this, it, is, is this still a thing or not? 903, go ahead. <laughs> So I've been here. You've been looking for some Dogecoin. I can get you. I can get you a good price for the price of. I don't want Dogecoin, and stop calling up just shit in my ear. <sighs> Country code forty four. Go ahead. Here. Hello, M sixty. How are you? I call her. I'm great, but I don't answer questions. Did you have something you wanted to say tonight? Yeah, I was wondering if you had any advice about something. What? Um, I don't. So I, I don't. Did you have something you wanted to say tonight? Yeah. God damn it! Four oh four. Go ahead. Here. I have something very, very important to say. Okay, it's not a question, it's to you and to everybody, okay? Okay, Buy what? GME and AMC and hold, buy GME and AMC and hold, buy GME and AMC. Listen, shut up. Nobody's fucking buying your stupid fucking 347, go ahead, you yeah. Thank you. I know that you're not doing bad stuff, but it's okay to have some positivity in your life. So that's what I was just going to say to you. Have a good day. Cut your code 44, go ahead. Hello, is this Mr. M60? This is, um, Caller, did you Lewis have something Collins. you wanted to say tonight? Yeah, we're calling from the Greater Manchester uh, Police. Um, we've noticed many stickers around the city. We're wondering, uh, you know, why you keep putting these stickers everywhere. Could you maybe wonder why someone else is doing it when you consider I am across the fucking goddamn globe in the United States 
and I can't TV even TV fly TV there TV because TV. we're in the middle of a global pandemic. <laughs> Stop calling up just to shit in my ear. 918, go ahead. Yeah, this is Eugene. Uh, hey, Darren. Uh, I was calling in about the Medicaid or med the, the Medicaid. All right, I have to I have to transfer you for that, Eugene. Did you have something you wanted to say? Well, there was a commercial about. Okay, Medicaid I'm going to transfer you to the Medicare but, help well, and questions well, line. Okay, well, thank you. Well, what, yeah, what? what? Um, th there was it was a uh, my issue is that uh, there was some jackass doing a laundry talk uh, hotline. And uh, he caused me to start a fire in my dryer, and now I have smoke inhalation. And so that's what I'm needing to use my Medicaid for. Okay, I'm going to transfer you to the... the, the, the that okay. would be great. Obviously, Please hold. you can't help. Piece of <clears throat> Did he really call me a piece of shit? Uh, 304, go ahead. What's that guy Joe talking about in your chat? I'm not reading the chat. Did you have something you wanted to say tonight? I don't answer questions. Joe Mama! Listen, can y'all not? Like, I... 404, go ahead. Hey, M60. You yeah. just got breaded. God fucking damn it. Can you guys stop calling me up with this bullshit? Nine one eight, go ahead. Yeah, it's Eugene again. I, I got hung up on now I need to talk to Medicaid. Uh, Eugene Look, there's a commercial. It said to call this number. I'm starting to get a little pissed off here. I got smoke inhalation. Inhalation. Okay, I Eugene, I'm going to transfer you. Okay, just hold on the line. <sighs> okay. If hey, if it hangs up again, I'll be more. I'll be. I'll be like a. Like All right, smash. well, this is a new phone system that we're working with. Just hold. Uh, they need to train you. 347, Okay, if you don't have anything to say, you could just not call. That's an option. Uh, 903, go ahead. So, this call is regarding your car's extended warranty at the price of... I don't have a warranty to extend on my car. 347, go ahead. I know this is an aggressive, but I have something to say. There's a freaking roach. Sir, sir, I can't understand you. You sound like you're hiding in a closet from a rapist. Do, I cannot understand you. Can you speak up? There's, there's a roach the size of a minivan. I can't understand you. You can't whisper. You're going to have to use your voice to speak. I'm trying, I'm trying to, but there's a roach. Are you in a safe place? A uh, what? There's a roach the size of a minivan in my A uh, what? There's a, there's a roach the size of a minivan in my kitchen. What's a roach? A roach the size of a minivan in my kitchen. And it's crawling around my house, destroying everything. And I think it ate my dog. 
What's a woach? A woach? A thing that's created by Satan. It's an animal that's not supposed to exist, but it does anyway. Caller, did you have something you wanted to say tonight? I think that I need help here. The roach just broke into my room. It's crawling around and trying to find me. I don't know how long. It's literally now. Please, I'd help. All right. I just can't understand anything you say. I'm not sure what that's about. Nine seven eight, go ahead. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Give me six days. Yeah, Jason, what I can't believe that you're missing the Super Bowl right now. Okay? Joe Joe Siwa just ran out on the field and it's Taking a shit from a 70 yard line. God fucking damn it. Stop calling up just to shit in my ear. 918, go ahead. Yeah, it's just you, Gene, uh, for the last time. Now, oh. Uh, Did you unplug the printer? Yeah, yes, yeah. Give me one second. Eugene? Medicaid inquiry. Here, hold, hold on a minute. Here. A health benefit plan. Press two. Press one. Here. Medicaid provider. We're going to talk to your manager. Me and you. Thank you for calling Gainwell Technologies in partnership with Georgia Medicaid. All menu options have recently changed. Please look carefully to ensure you select um, the correct option. Uh, the real cat thank sub, thank you. you for gifting a subscription to Jimmy07. I really appreciate it. 614, go ahead. Hey, what's up? So, I came to complain because I think that our country's healthcare system is screwed up, man. My wisdom tooth just started coming in recently, and they won't pay for it. I can't afford that shit. You know what I mean? Okay, well, did you maybe think about getting a job? No, I have a job, but it costs like $6,000. What, to get your wisdom tooth taken out? And my IBS treated. God fucking damn it. Can y'all stop just trying to come up with ways of shit in my ear? God fucking damn it. Caller, can you turn down the TV? Country code 44, go ahead. Caller, I can't hear a goddamn word you're saying. Nine one six, go ahead. Hello? Yes, caller, go ahead. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just a little tired. Okay, well, if you're tired, go <sighs> to bed. Did you have something you wanted to say tonight? <sighs> I don't know. Just... All right. God damn it. Stop calling up just to shit in my ear. 518, go ahead. You're... Oh, my God. It, it's just, it's one after the other. Just stop. 404, go ahead. Hey, man, these callers are... 
something else tonight. Uh, anyway, you fucking missed a hell of a hi- ha- halftime show there, man. The weekend performed. Yeah, I and heard uh, it they a... performed an abortion live on the field and accidentally shit himself on stage. God fucking god damn! Did he actually perform an abortion? The hell is wrong with the Super Bowl? Oh, you saw that too? Oh, that was so hot. Did that actually happen? No. <laughs> yeah, dog. Yeah, it was like a it was like an homage to. Uh, Just, did you did you have something you wanted to say tonight? Okay, first of all, the last call I had, I was serious. I just added that little funny thing at the end. Oh yeah, I'm sure that's what they all say. Do you really think I would spend two minutes on a call about Twitch advertisement and money? You want the, just to the do that little bit. You want the story? truth? Yes, I do. No, I'm not that stupid. I've seen people wait on hold for days. <laughs> what? Days. That's a just lie. Just call me you know fat. How, you want? Oh, that's fucked up. I would never say that. But you know how I know that's a lie because you can only stay on hold for 13 minutes until the phone call ends. Anyways, Why do I you hope your day is going well. I know that because I spent literally every fucking So if time you're I willing to it, spend 13 minutes on hold for a, a fucking Twitch streamer, then I'm pretty sure you're willing to go through an entire two-minute bullshit story just to shit in my ear. I don't I'm think that's unreasonable. I'm not going to shit in your ear. Cause I'm gonna How do I know? Because I'm going to... You have my word. You said that the last time. I didn't shit in your ear, though. I didn't shit in your ear. I'm going to be serious. So how's it going? Fine. I don't answer questions. Okay, well, honestly, I was looking up some stuff, and it turns out that GameStop is going out of business now. Now? They've always been going out of business. No, they're like indefinitely filing for Chapter 11 bankruptcy across the United States. Oh, that and Dick Sporting Goods. And it really grinds my gears that people eat cream of wheat with no sugar. Sugar? Uh, 404, go ahead. Yo, oh my god, M60, did you just see that last play? No, what fucking, what? Okay, so all the players are lined up, right? You got Tom Brady on the left side, you got some other fucking guy on the right side, all right? And they got the players lined up with the metal bar that go in between them, okay? And they're all, all the toes are pointed down at the ground and they're kicking at the little white ball. And one of them's trying to move them one way. And the other one's trying to move them the other way, and okay, they're kicking the ball. Like soccer. It no, like no, 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 no. They're, they're like at a wooden. T- they're like at a wooden table, and there's a metal rod going through all the players across. Okay, and they got to turn the little things on the side. Okay, that's foosball. Yeah, that's what we're watching, right? Am I on? Am I on the right? Sally, is this the right channel? We're supposed to be watching the Super Bowl. What kind of shit you got on here right now? Something about foosball. I do apologize. I was watching the wrong channel. Five one eight. Go ahead. Nine seven eight, go ahead. Hello, this is Lisa Guerrero reporting live from Inside Edition. Okay, what do you want, Lisa? Now listen, Chris Harry actually attended the Super Bowl. Oh, for tonight. Christ's sake. According, according to our source. He had a discussion with the guy sitting next to him about the stresses of being a new royal parent. 
Lisa, I don't give two fucks what the fuck Prince Harry is doing. That's tomorrow. God damn it. Oh. Oh. Prince Harry just shit himself. God fucking damn it. Nine one eight, go ahead here. I'm what? Eh, I'm gonna get hung up on again or you're gonna say you're gonna transfer me? Is that what's gonna happen here? I talked to your manager. Okay. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, I hope you're shaking in your little cowboy boots. Listen, you know it. if you called and got your Medicare. It's Medicaid, it's, all right? It's, no, okay. it was your commercial. Okay, if you got your Listen, Medicaid you got me, situated, you got me then what? Like what why are you calling back? Eight times. Well, because I'm, I'm specifically, I'm upset with you. That's why. Okay, but you have your Medicaid I've done situated, all the time. right? I don't got anything else to do right now. Okay, but you have your Medicaid situated, right? Caller, I don't answer questions. You know. You know, I, all these other people call up and they shit in your ear. You never hear me do that, do you? There was this one time. That I did it? Well, here, I I'll make up I think it. it was somebody pretending. God fucking damn it. <sighs> 404, go ahead. <laughs> Yes, this is Eugene again. I forgot to ask. Uh, are my diapers going to be covered for this? God damn it, Eugene. 903, go ahead. You're... God damn it, you're going to listen to Eugene or else you're going to hear... Stop calling me, Eugene. God damn it. Country Code 44, go ahead. You're... What the fuck is wrong with you fucking people tonight? It must be gassy at the fucking Super Bowl or something. 916, go ahead. Here. Hi, I had a celebrity I wanted to dish on tonight. Oh, great. Good for you. Did you have something you wanted to say tonight? Because that's all I'm doing tonight is something so to say. Yeah, I have a celebrity to dish on. So Okay, go ahead. The Olympics guy, uh his name is Bruce Jenner. He's becoming a woman, the transgender. Have you heard about this or yeah, this was like fucking, f what, six fucking years ago? You just watched that video? Well, he was on, or she was on the, um, interviewed by some lady, Barbara Walters, I think. And they're still trying to figure out what he's going to name Frank. himself. Courtesy of prankowl.com. Listen, shut the fuck up. Fucking dumbass doesn't even know the difference between Diane Sawyer and Barbara Walters. 404, go ahead. Hey, it's your old pal, Ronnie Star. How's it going, mate? Yeah, go ahead. I just got off a lorry and I'm headed toward my flat. Wondering if you'd like me to pick up anything at the queue. Uh, yeah, well, can you pick me up some cigarettes? I think you know I can't. 
You uh, fucking lorry driver. I think you know real well I can't. Nine one seven. Go ahead. Hello. Yeah, go ahead. Hey, so uh, I have something to say. All right. <clears throat> number one is, can I suck on them titties? And number two, can I take a W ear? I got him before he shit in my fucking ear. Nine oh three, go ahead. We've been trying to reach you regarding your car's extended warranty. I I don't have a warranty on my car to extend. Five one eight, go ahead. Stop calling up just to shit in my ear. Four oh four, go ahead. Here. Holy shit, Jeffrey Epstein just ran out onto the field and dropped his pants. Can't believe you decided to stream today. You're missing everything. What you... Oh, God, he's taking a dump on the 30-yard line. <laughs> oh, my God, stop calling me up with this bullshit. Caller, can you turn down the TV? <laughs> yes, sir, I'm sorry. Okay, is that good? Right, yes, so, now did well, you have something you wanted to say tonight? Yes, because I'm the only motherfucker here that's called that actually has something to say. Now, did you know that Prince Harry had a pet rabbit as a child? I don't care if Prince Harry had a fucking goddamn dead dead squirrel as a fucking pet. I don't give a fuck about fucking Prince Harry. I live in America, the land of the free, where we're not... We don't have... Fucking monarchs. Did you, know, did you know that in the 1950s, the United States bombed Guatemala and blamed it on Soviet Russia? Oh, my Russia? God. Did you That's have something true. you wanted to say? That's a question. Well, yeah, that's what happened. I'm not going to shit in your ear and you're welcome. Nine one seven, go ahead. How dare you hang up? God fucking damn it! I don't even know what I hung up on. Nine oh three, go ahead. Jesus Christ! Did you see uh, what was his name? Jeffrey Epstein go running across the field and take a shit. Sound like? I heard about it. The fuck was that? Can you guys stop calling up just for excuse? Country Code 44, go ahead, you're... Hello? Yeah, go ahead. How old are you? I, I don't answer questions, ma'am. Did you have something you wanted to say tonight? Your feelings are important. Your feelings go on Dr. Phil. I'm not asking about my, your feelings. You just want to talk. I'm not just a psychiatrist. I agree. Did you have something you want? Can the chat stop counting, please? 330, go ahead. Can the chat stop counting, please? 330. I will ask everyone one more time if you could please turn down your television set before you call in. Otherwise, I'm just going to start hanging up. Nine Hello. seven eight. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hello. Yeah. Hi. Hi. How are you? Yeah. Did I'm great. Did you have something you wanted to say tonight? Uh huh. Okay. Well, go ahead. Well, I didn't call you. You called me. Did you have something you wanted to say tonight? I didn't call you. I didn't call you, sir. 
Uh-huh. Yes, you did call me. Ugly? Caller. Uh-huh. Did you have something uh-huh. you wanted to say tonight? Uh-huh. What? Yes? Excuse me, sir, did you have something you wanted to say tonight? Yeah. Okay, then go ahead. Is this Sick son of a bitches. 410, uh, go ahead, you um, yeah, I'm about to call and I'm worried about your blood pressure because all you do is like rage. Yeah, bro. me too. I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit, I uh, just, just uh, irritated with everything going on right now and all the constant shitting in my ear. So, did you have something you wanted to say tonight? Because <coughs> I just wanted to make sure you're handling your and- <coughs> I'm not! <laughs> Cause it, it doesn't sound like that. Did you have something you wanted to say tonight? You're not saying anything. Okay, you, you're you're giving you? me fucking medical advice over the phone and not saying anything. You just need to say something and I'll be happy. How about that? Does your, know, does your physician know how much? Did you have something you wanted to say? That's a question. I didn't even hear it, but it's a question. I'm your, I'm your physician. <laughs> I wake up every 10 minutes in my sleep just to make sure I didn't shit the bed. Because I have nightmares about these farts in my all uh, every night. So I have to wake up in the middle of the night to check and to roll over and check and make sure I didn't shit the bed. Stewie57, thank, thank you for resubscribing for 10 months in a row. Country Code 44, go ahead. Hey, how you doing? Why are you so angry today? I mean, I come here I'm, nice Because everyone's shitting wow. in my ear, that's why. Is it that hard to understand? Turn the notifications off. You know what to do. Hang up. Turn the notifications off. It's happening on the phone. Uh, well, what do you want me to do? Turn off the phone, then. I can't do that. Otherwise, everyone would chew me out for not taking calls. So I don't want to hear this uh, bullshit. You you're, 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 listen. Your go virtue your signal to somebody the you fuck else. Did you say naked advice? It's okay. Look, do you have any questions? Do you have anything you want to get off your chest, please? I, did you have something you wanted to say tonight, sir? That's why I'm asking you. I'm asking, do you have anything to say? I don't answer questions. I don't answer questions. I listen to statements. Did you have something you you wanted to state tonight? Statement. Speak to me, me and you can really, you know, get back the quality of life you once had. Are you okay? You still haven't said anything, have you? Do you have anything to say? Why, why, the topic is say anything. You can talk about anything on earth and you choose, you, you, you know, all these flavors and you choose to be salty. 903, go ahead. Bye, GME and hold. Bye, GME and hold. Bye, GME and hold. Nine seven eight. go ahead. Hi, 
Sixty. Ah, uh, it is. But did you have something you wanted to say tonight? Yes, I do. Um, I just have one quick thing to say for someone in the stream. Okay. Okay. Um, <clears throat> uh, this is for you, Dandy. <clears throat> ah! Four oh four, go ahead. Oh my god, Joe Biden just found the cure for cancer on the twenty yard line. Now he's handing out two thousand dollar checks. Are you watching this shit? Oh my god, he just found the cure what? for diarrhea. God fucking damn it! Can you guys stop calling up just a shit in my ear? Oh, That's a fucking... I want a stimulus check. I don't make... I only make $50 a week. At 404, go ahead. At four... The hello? Hello? You hear me? Hello? Hello? Yes, hello. hello. Go yes. ahead. So sorry. So sorry. So I had I had this this new idea for this amazing crypto coin that I want to get you in on. And I think I think you're gonna like it, okay? It's it's completely worthless right now. But soon You mean like all be, crypto is? But soon it'll be worth at least fifty dollars a week. All right. We're talking about M sixty coin, all right? You can mine it yourself, okay? You get people to buy into it. They buy a little bit of M60 coin. I'm telling you, the stock price and the, the prices, the, the, the margins will, will skyrocket. Listen, the I don't want my own crypto coin scam bullshit. I'm not, I'm one not in the interested. Chat if you want M60 coin. Let me get one in the chat. If you, want, if you would buy M60 coin right now, it's completely worthless, okay? right now but soon it'll be worth fifty dollars a week you'll that's i mean that's exponential you can't unmath that okay that's that's, that's how are you gonna how is anyone gonna live off of m60 coin if it's only worth fifty dollars a week you're not supposed to live off of it you're supposed to invest in it okay you're supposed to invest it it's not it's you're you still need to have a job but and then what you would do is you would end up getting Everybody who would buy it would start getting giving you fifty dollars a week, and then they also make fifty dollars a week at the same time. So it's a it's a win win situation. Okay, it how can't am I fail. supposed to live off of fifty dollars a week? I already only make fifty dollars a week. But you would get fifty from each coin that would sell. Each coin is worth fifty. Oh. So the more coins, the more people that would buy M sixty coin the more coins you would have. And as the price goes up and more people make more money, you make more money. I'm telling you, I, I've done all the math. You should see, I got like, I got, I got a stained glass window that I was using markers on and drawing on like in a beautiful mind and beautiful string music was playing in the background. And I had like math symbols floating over my head. I figured it all out. Okay. You need to Listen. buy into this. M60 coin. It's the next big thing that is a big thing. All right. Well, you know what? Could you send me some literature in the mail? Absolutely. Absolutely. I'll, I'll mail you a, a couple of pamphlets. Of what? Some pamphlets. Pamphlets. That's what I said. Pamphlets. A big old stack of pamphlets. All right, you have a nice day, sir. Nine one six, go ahead. Here. Hi, um, I just wanted to say how happy I am that yesterday the Supreme Court finally legalized gay marriage. It's been a long time coming, and I'm just happy that we're all equal now.
Okay. Isn't that, I mean, of all the oppression that the gay people have faced over the years, it's nice that it's finally the law of the land now. Yeah, I guess. I don't, I don't think the government should have anything to do with marriage of any type. What are you, a libertarian? Yes. I don't like libertarians. Okay, well, then why did you call? Uh, six one four. Go ahead. Hey, how's it going, boy? I were calling. Oh, in. Did you have something you wanted to say tonight? I don't. I don't. I don't yes, answer sir. questions. Yes, sir. I'm from Tennessee, and I think people should start getting their own food more. Well, often, you're the you know? only ten I see. I'm sorry. Go ahead. You're from uh, Tennessee, and what? Oh, right. Yeah. Anyways, so I hunt a lot of my own food. You know, like frogs and deer and. I think people should start hunting their own food more, you know, where it save a lot of money. And I think it teaches good life lessons, you know what I mean? I agree with that. That's the only problem, though, is, like, a lot of people like to fry it, so it's not that healthy. And, man, it gives me a stomach ache. Oh. God fucking damn it. Stop calling up just to shit in my fucking ear. This is... This is insanity. Do you understand what you're doing? This We're in the middle of a fucking pandemic. I just I can't right now. I can't right now. 651, go ahead. God damn it. Country code 44, go ahead. Hello, this is Julie from Greater Manchester Police. Do us a fucking favor and stop putting your stickers everywhere. No one cares and it's a form of terrorism, you fucking bitch. Fuck it's you not car. terrorism, I didn't do it. Somebody else put them up. 606, go ahead. Yo, can I place an order for delivery? Yeah, can I get yeah, two go. large cheese pizzas and order a cheese sticks? Would you like to add a two liter of Pepsi? Um, I don't. You got Coke? We have Pepsi products, sir. Pepsi, Diet Pepsi, Mountain Dew, Diet Mountain Dew. <laughs> Dr. Pepper. Country code 44. Go ahead. Hi, I'm How are you? Oh, sorry. But you got any questions. Um, well, I'll be serious, Carla. I'm like everyone else. Um, I'll be serious, Carla. I'm like everyone else. So, I've been redecorating my place recently a lot. I'm trying to be minimalistic. So I've been like throwing loads of stuff out and painting. That's what I've been doing for like the past couple of weeks. It's coming together pretty well. Hello? Well, that's good to hear. I don't, what, was I supposed to respond? I'm not even sure what you said, honestly. Oh. Something about know. organizing your closet or something? I really didn't. Yeah, no, it's not like the closet. It's like everything. But it's just like getting rid of loads of stuff that you don't need. Oh. 
plus <laughs> Marie Kondo. Got it. You're a, you're a, a modern day Marie Kondo. No, I'm going for like a Japanese style, you know, like minimalist and, you know, very contemporary. Do you novel. think Kondo is a German name? Well, I don't know. But, you know, very minimalist and Japanese. That's what I'm going with. So I've got to get loads, rid of loads of stuff. I've already got rid of loads, like bags and bags of stuff. Okay, well, that's great to hear. I recommend that everyone should do it. It's very freeing. You know, it yeah, you, declutter. Yeah, it makes you feel like really good. You know, get rid of loads of stuff. You feel yeah, like, I feel lots of stuff is a waste for people as well. So, yeah, okay. Yeah, I will um, mm. happily show you some pictures when it's finished. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, we are meeting the rover tomorrow as well. Okay, we're gonna uh, have some sushi. Great. But, you know, like, if you have a lot of sushi... Sometimes... Oh, my God, I don't care. Did you have something else you wanted? Oh, my God. Jesus fucking Christ. 832, go ahead. Or... Four oh four, go ahead. Oh my god, Alex. The mood is absolutely electric out here right now. Okay. You will never believe it. They just freed Britney on the field. Britney Spears has been freed. Oh my god, what a game you're missing. I'm out here right now. What? Yes. I'm they they just released Britney on the field and oh <laughs> Britney just shit herself. <laughs> Oh my god. God fucking damn it, you sick son of a bitches. Go fuck yourselves!